All right. First question is, when the season began, when you guys basically broke camp, what were your thoughts in terms of your chances for the playoffs, true? Well, I thought they were pretty good right from the start. I mean, I liked, I liked the team that, that we had. Uh, I mean, I knew we were going to hit enough, and I knew we were going to catch the ball pretty good. Uh, I, I wasn't sure about the pitching, and you know, the pitching wasn't, uh, I mean, for a while, it held them up pretty good. But then uh, the starters kind of went south on us, and when that happened, our bullpen got wore out. So, uh, and it's been a struggle all year with the pitching, getting the right pitchers uh, in here. And, uh, hopefully, uh, we've done that now. I would assume that, you know, if I'd ask what the biggest obstacle you've had to overcome, it would be dealing with, you know, with the pitching. It'd be, it'd be the starting pitching. The starting pitching's been the biggest obstacle to overturn. Because uh, we got in a situation there that two or three of them, uh, one guy got signed into a line and two other guys come in and quit. And all starters, three starters, are out in one, one, one week. And now all of a sudden, there's nobody out there to replace them. And now you start pitching the bullpen guys, and the next thing you know, they're all wore out. So that's what happened. Could you single out a highlight, like a single highlight or a couple of highlights for you for the season? You know, I really can't because, because I mean, uh, we've had some big games, there's no doubt. I know we came back and uh, won some big games, but it's been a real struggle here in the second half, you know. And, uh, I didn't think we'd get into a situation like this in the second half when we struggled when we were struggling, but, um, you know, it's like I said, the big games are coming up, so we'll go from there. Knowing that even with the struggles, having those couple of games there where you scored 40 runs in, in a span of 16 innings, how much did that kind of boost team morale this close to the playoffs, knowing that you could just, you know, you have that kind of lineup that can well, do I that? Know, you know, uh, we know we got a good lineup. I mean, we're hitting 300 as a team. And that's pretty hard to do. Uh, we scored more runs, way more runs than anybody else in the league. So, you know, I thought it was going to be a little takeoff point, but then go to Camden and lose three in a row to Camden. So it, it must not have been too good a starting point because it didn't work. <laughs> What would you say has been the most pleasant surprise for you this season? Well, I think probably uh, Grimes has probably been the biggest surprise because here's a guy that, you know, this is the first year he really hasn't been hurt. He's never played higher than rookie ball, you know, in the New York Mets. Um, so I, I knew when I talked to people about him, when I brought him in, that he gives you 110% every day, which he does. Yeah, I think he was going to hit the way he hit and score 135 runs and play defense the way he plays it and throws the ball the way he throws it. No, a lot of that was a complete surprise. It was a pleasant surprise. Do you have a feeling that uh, he may be off back in affiliated ball playing a little higher than the uh, short I, season next well, year? I hope so. You know, I've talked to some people about it. And, uh, I mean, they got to look at his numbers. I mean, the numbers are astronomical for a kid. Uh, you know, he's 26 years old. Uh, his on-base percentage is 430. I mean, you go over all of his, uh, his extra base hits are in the top five in the league. He's, he's leading the league in base on balls. He's leading the league on getting hit by pitches. Uh, I mean, there's so many places that he's leading the league in. And, he, and he's, you know, he's hit 17 home runs in the leadoff spot. So, uh, and he's just had an amazing year. For me, for me, he's the most valuable player in the league. I mean, he really is. Okay. Um, Going into the playoffs, you guys are facing Somerset. Obviously, you know, not much, not much you can you can say about that. What do you think is going to be is the key for you guys for this first round of the playoffs? We have to outplay them. Uh, you know, I think we can get their pitchers. Uh, the key is, uh, I think we got a better defensive club. I think we got a better hitting club. The key is, uh, are we going to be are we going to stop them from scoring? If we stop them from scoring, we have a good chance to win. And I don't mean stop them completely. I mean, if we could hold them three or four runs a game, I think we'll have a good chance to win. Have any secrets or surprises up your sleeve, no, sir? No, the only thing is uh, they haven't seen the Salvo. We made sure that they didn't get to see the Salvo when they were Somerset last time. They haven't seen either left hander that I brought in. They haven't uh, seen Angel? Angel, and they haven't seen uh, uh, Salvo. So they're going to see three pictures they haven't seen all year. Great. Well, thank you, and good luck, and congratulations. Thank you.